Hey Hoochies. I just want to start this by saying that I think I have a sexy ass soul. Like, I once was binging on um, Style Like You's YouTube videos where they have women just come and undress, literally just take off pieces of clothing and answer different questions. Um, and it gets really intimate and it's really moving. Um, and ugh, I forgot to do my intro. I don't care. I'm too far in. I'm not going back. And um, one of them is like, I feel like my soul can take you a man. And that's how I'm feeling right now. Like, every single day, it's I've been being tested for sure. And if isn't that Gemini's? I got a Gemini rise and I will test the fuck out of you. You tell me don't try it, I'm going to fucking try it. Why? Because you're going to do shit about it. But anyway, every single day is like a test. Like, are you are you with the shits or not? Are you trying to grow or not? Do you want your goals met or not? Do you want things to manifest or not? Because it really depends on you. And rem getting on the other side of the test and just acknowledging I have power then, you know? And... It's up to me what I choose to focus on. It's up to me where I choose to send my energy. Like, yesterday I was a weak bitch, today I'm not. If you haven't checked out that my podcast, do so. It's um, Delicious Delicious on Apple Podcasts as well as Spotify. There's a comma in between Delicious and Delicious. We're asking for the link. I'm just like, if you don't listen, it's all gravy because honestly it's for some people it's for it's not for everybody it really isn't but if it's for you by all means and if you're not fucking with it you're lost truthfully but um for sure i just wanted to like check in make sure everybody's breathing make sure everybody's taking their time and and being patient with yourself I for sure was very frustrated sometime this week and just dealing with my daughter to be completely honest because old shit I realized was coming up. One thing for sure that was coming up and that I was being triggered even by my daughter was that growing up I had problems um, with enmeshment. Enmeshment is a kind of something just psychologically where your needs and your emotions are overshadowed by your parents and it's just because your parents are narcissistic as fuck your parents don't give you the validation that you need emotionally and but they put such a heavy burden on you when it comes to their emotions so i actually started doing it to myself and don't even and you know obviously i've gotten better but for a long time i didn't take my emotions seriously I invalidated myself when I would feel something deeply. I'd be like, we don't have time for that shit, bitch. Move the fuck on. And that's what led to, you know, trying to find validation through men, trying to find, you know, things to distract myself from that. But ultimately, all the other, st everything is coming back up just for a final review I'm seeing. Because as soon as I get over that shit, I feel like, you know, oh, happy fucking day. Like, I have a brand new life. Or like a reset, a restart, clean slate. So for sure what came up was the fact that, yeah, my needs weren't important, but I had to make someone else's important. And even, I know it sounds really, you know, really rude and mean and selfish when it comes to my daughter, but you, if being triggered is being triggered. It had nothing to do with my daughter. It had everything to do with me ignoring myself and then beating myself up about it, not being patient with myself, not taking my time, not doing my best. And I just wanted to be truthful about that and acknowledge that, you know, I forgive myself and that I still love me so fucking much because I still have the will and the might to grow and try to be better than, than yesterday. And you can too. So, I mean, if anyone ever wants to like hop in my fucking DMs real quick, like, you know, I'm always down to spread love and to connect and give you a space to feel, you know, yourself. Um, that's for one thing. That for sure was one thing also that I had to confront was, you know, I hold myself back or I'm afraid to feel. Or I'm afraid to be, just be, 
because I'm afraid someone's, you know, going to come around the corner and, and fuck with me, you know, try to put me down or invalidate what I'm doing. And I, you know, heard a voice that was like, who gives a fuck? If they don't feel it or if they don't agree, there's people who do agree. You agree. So put your focus there. And I did. I was like, you know what? I have entire, I have angels, guides, ancestors cheering me on. Who gives a fuck if you, if you ain't with the shit? Like, truthfully, if you can't support me, that means you don't support yourself. And who gives a damn about your opinion? 